everyone welcome to rpb resonance chemistry so here today i'm going to discuss about uh, one of the important chiral auxiliary ligand that is uh, useful for the asymmetric dihydroxylation that is useful for the asymmetric dihydroxylation those ligands are nothing but a uh, dhq and a dhqd which are the easily available from the synclonal alkali text synclonal alkali trees okay that is the natural abundance okay now here it is the quinine uh, dihydroquinine uh, uh, dihydroquinine alkaloid so this is the chiral ligand here it is also chiral ligand okay so these two chiral ligands was uh, attached by the small spacer that is the thalazine it was this as a simple spacer that is thalazine here also this is the like a uh, dihydroquinidine dihydroquinidine so these two dihydroquinidine was jointed by the a small spacer that is a thalazine simply it is called as a bis dihydroquinine bis dihydroquinine thalazine so here it is bis dihydroquinidine thalazine so these two are the best best chiral ligands for the asymmetric dihydroxylation so uh, asymmetric dihydroxylation in presence of osmium tetroxide we used these two chiral ligands it gives the more enantio selective products okay generally osmium tetroxide will gives the uh, syn stereochemistry uh, no doubt it gives this syn stereochemistry but uh, those syn stereochemistry it may be gives uh, both are above the plane or both are below the plane so that is the mixture of a product or it may be possible mixture of product it may be possible by using the these chiral ligands uh, like dhq or dhqd we will get the only one type of uh, only one type of isomer as a measure that is uh, more enantiomeric excess is absorbed more enantiomeric excess is absorbed that is the advantage of uh, these two chiral ligands okay so now here these two chiral ligands were uh, used as the like a combination of uh, like osmium reagent like a uh, k3 fecn6 as a co-oxidant some bases sulfonamides in tertiary butanol as well as water zero degree centigrade temperature okay so these three reagents one two three so one plus two plus three along with a uh, dhq taken twice phal simply it is called as ad mix alpha Simply, it is also called as ADMix alpha. So, one plus two plus three plus DHQD chiral ligand that is a dihydroquinidine PHAL. So, that is called as ADMix beta. AD mix beta. So this is the AD mix alpha. This was the AD mix beta. So these two are the chiral ligands. These two are the very wonderful chiral ligands. So this is the asymmetric dihydroxylation uses. So the alpha AD mix alpha indicates DHQ. AD mix beta indicates DHQD. Now let us take the what is the advantage of these chiral ligands. So this is used for the asymmetric dihydroxylation. So whenever the olefin position, this is the olefin. So a large group present at the left side bottom corner and medium group present at the quite opposite that indicates the right side the top curve top of the position again small group and hydrogen group so this is the arrangement of wolfine so this is the arrangement of wolfine in case of this type of arrangement of wolfine whenever we use the like a dhq taken twice phal those kind of a, a chiral ligand that sends the osmium tetroxide at the bottom of the position so DHQ will favors the will send the osmium tetroxide towards the bottom side of the position towards the bottom side of the position. Then we will get the both the alka, both the dihydroxyl group at below the plane both the hydroxyl group with below the plane. But in case of DHQD in the presence of DHQD it sent the osmium tetroxide towards the top side of the olefin towards the top side of the olefin. Okay, so that's why it gives the two hydroxyl groups at the top of the position that is both are in the thick line both are in the above the plane of stereochemistry this is very simple stereochemistry i think it is clear a large group is present large group present at the left side bottom corner and a medium group present to the like opposite to each other that indicates it is majorly it is e alkene so e alkene will use the 97% of excess of 97% excess and z isomer will use the 29% of enantiomeric excess enantiomeric excess that is the advantages okay so here it is the like a spacer these two are the spacer which was connected by the two chiral ligands that is a dhq in this case dhqd so this dhq will favors the bottom side of the attack and the dhqd will favors the top side of the attack now so the total mixer it is simply it is called as ad mix alpha and the dhqd it is nothing but ad mix beta so uh, the total uh, was available for the like a uh, mixture of compounds uh, for the synthesis okay now let's move on to the some of the examples so the large position at the left side corner it favors the like aromatic rings 
uh, aromatic rings are found with the left side bottom of the carbon. Okay, it is very easier topic, but it gives the more weightage in uh, very high competitive exams. Okay, so now the first example, phenyl, phenyl. So we will take the AD mix alpha, AD mix alpha, that is aspirin tetraoxide ligands as well as uh, co-oxidant base DHQ, DHQ taken twice, PHA. So here left side position, that indicates here phenyl group present at the left side bottom position, doesn't matter, okay. So large group present at the left side of bottom carbon, then DHQ will favor the bottom side, DHQD will favor the top side. So now we will get the, like DHQ will favor the bottom side, we will get the like a two hydroxyl group at the bottom position, two hydroxyl group at the bottom of the position. So instead of AD mix alpha, we would like to take the AD mix beta, so that we will get the two hydroxyl group at the top of the thick line, that is above the plane of stereochemistry, above the plane of stereochemistry. Not only these two ligands, we use several type of ligands. So these are the best examples from the standard textbooks. That is uh, Jonathan Clyden as well as George Giffel and William Caruthers. Like AD mix alpha. So we use the AD mix alpha that indicates a DHQ. So DHQ taken twice PHAL. Or D if you take the DHQD, what will happen? So DHQD, what will happen? And DHQ, what will give? Okay. Now DHQ bottom of the plane. So we will get the like very simple product. So bottom, both are the bot, uh, like. Uh, below the line alcohols, uh, in this case we will get the, both are in the, above the plane alcohols. Very simple. Okay, this is the, like, uh, chiral, uh, asymmetric chiral ligands uh, uses. Okay, now let's move on to the, some other examples regarding to the, uh, our stereochemistry, our asymmetric uh, dihydroxylation. Okay. So this was given in the like a uh, George G fell C eighteen H seventeen. So A D mix alpha, A D mix alpha, A D mix beta. So A D mix alpha indicates uh, this is the bottom the uh, below the plane C eighteen H seventeen. So here O H. Why? Because there is no uh, significance uh, like uh, above the or below the plane. Why it did not uh, shown here? That is it is not a chiral center. That's why I did not show the any type of uh, chirality. So here above the plane C18 H17 so this is the OH this is the OH not only this like when many many type of uh, like uh, these type of alpha beta unsaturated compounds can also undergo the DHQD taken trace PHAL we will get the like uh, above the plane alcohols COO ethyl so this is the above the plane alcohols why because so what is the uh, chiral ligand if they are given in the dhqd that indicates it is the above the plane attack we will get the two hydroxyl groups uh, as a above the plane alcohol so not only these kind of materials so if you use it then like a uh, if you take the these kind of large groups uh, like these kind of uh, large groups okay this is the compound so when we use the like DHQD uh, as the chiral ligand, DHQD, PHA, that indicates any of the double bond, any of the alkene in presence of these kind of like DHQD, AD mix beta chiral ligand, the presence of AD mix beta chiral ligand, we will get the like uh, above the plane alcohol. But uh, here the matter is, so two double bonds are there. So in this case of like a regio selectivity of two double bonds, uh, which double bond can undergo the like a dihydroxylation that is the like a selectivity is needed. Okay, so that 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 the case, uh, our chiral, chiral ligands uh, avoids the it avoids uh, sterically less crowded double bonds, less crowded double bonds. That's why here did not dihydroxylated. Here it it undergoes the dihydroxylation and it gives the like OH above the plane OH. Are you clear? Okay, asymmetric synthesis, asymmetric dihydroxylation, it unfavors the like sterically less crowded double bonds uh, rather than the sterically more crowded double bonds. Again, so E stereochemistry will give the 97% of uh, uh, enantiomeric excess, so Z will give the just 29%. Okay, that will give the just 29%. So this is the way to learn the uh, like uh, high important topics uh, for uh, highly competitive exams like CSAR and GATE. 
but how they are given in the uh, questions, how they are framed the questions so from these topics. Okay, now we are uh, very aware about uh, these kind of uh, asymmetric dihydrolysis. Okay, so how they are given in the question. So let's check the how they are given in the question. So I did not write the all those uh, compositions. Simply it is the edemic alpha. Okay, so now they are given in the options phenyl, phenyl. This is the like a styrene derivatives B, C, D. OH, OH, this is the option number D. Above the plane OH, below the plane OH, option number C. OH, 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 OH. Okay, now let's check the our knowledge once. Okay, so in in previous case, we are learn the topics. Okay, in this manner, we will learn the topics from like authorized textbooks like uh, Caruthers or uh, uh, George G. Phil or Clayton for the organic chemistry. But how they are framed the questions? Okay, uh, many of the students are suffered these kind of questions only. Okay, now they are given in the evolution. So that is uh, they are given in the like uh, a mixture of compound. Simply, I was given as uh, a mix alpha. That indicates uh, like as memory and ligand as well as uh, K3 Fe, Fe, Fe CN6 uh, that is coaxidant base as well as uh, tertiary butanol as well as uh, sulfonamides okay methyl sulfonamide everything is there everything is there okay now this is this uh, December 2016 question I think December or June uh, it was not clarity so it was a 2016 question for four marker so this is the CSIR four marker question okay so now we know that Asmium tetraxide. Whenever we absorb the asmium tetraxide, that will give us this cis, uh, cis olefins only. That is a sin addition olefin, not this is sin addition olefins. Then we will rule out the, these two options. That indicates so C and D are not our options. Are not our options. So we are uh, challenging with the A and B. Okay. We know that AD mix alpha. That indicates DHQ. So they are given in the DHQ PHA. So we know that DHQ that gives the bottom side of the attack that send the osmium tetraxide at the bottom side of the attack then our option is B so now we will choose the option B that we will get the we will punish the negative marks we will punish the negative mark that indicates it was also wrong it was also wrong so this is the way how they are tried out they are framed the questions why it is wrong let's check the uh, why it is wrong okay now according to the our knowledge so left side bottom is left side bottom corner is large group so quite opposite is medium group but how they are framed the question so left side top is the large group left side bottom left side bottom is the small group but left side top is the small group sorry large group left side bottom is bottom is the small group left side top is the like a left top corner is the large group so here totally reversed so totally reversed according to the our rule so this is the medium, this is the small, this is the hydrogen. It was totally reversed according to the our uh, application rule. But so then automatically the stereochemistry is also reversed. The stereochemistry is also reversed. If large group present at the left side bottom corner, THQ will send the uh, osmium tetraxide at bottom. DHQD will send the osmium tetraxide at top. But in this case, large group present at the left side at top, then DHQ will send the osmium tetraxide at the top of the position. DHQD will send the osmium tetraxide at the bottom side of the position to the bottom side of the position that is the change okay so if large group is at present at the left side bottom DHQ bottom side attack DHQD top side attack if quite oppositely DHQ like large group present at the left side top large group present at the left side top then automatically uh, like a DHQ will favors the top side attack DHQD will favors the bottom side attack DHQD will favor the bottom side attack. Then DHQ will favor the top side attack. Option number A is correct. Option number A is correct. So this is the way they are framed the questions uh, for, for highly competitive exams like CSAR or GATE. But we know that uh, complete concept, but we don't know the like these kind of uh, exceptional points uh, that was gives the negative marks or uh, negative shocks to us. So that's why many of the students are borderline uh, like uh, they are uh, rejected at the borderline cutoffs. Okay, so this is the way to learn the topics of uh, organic chemistry in simple manner.
okay that's all for this video if there is any doubts or any request regarding to the uh, like uh, highly competitive exams that is csr and get please send your request as well as uh, send your doubts in the comment section i will make the video and upload the like uh, same channel as well as uh, rpp resonance chemistry in upcoming days okay if there is any request or uh, any like a uh, doubts set uh, like a uh, chat in the comment box i will make the videos on upcoming days thank you so much for watching